Paolo, do you know that the highest combined scoring output of two teams in a PBA game is 365? What? Yes. That's one point for every day on the calendar. Not a leap year, of course. It happened on November 21, 1985 in Game 1 of the Reinforced Conference's battle for third series between Ginebra and Great Taste. Ginebra won the game 197 to 168. Oh my and, goodness. And their 197 points is still standing as the PBA's record for a team's single game output. In the second half alone, Ginebra poured in 112 points on the board, a record that has yet to be broken. It was an unbelievable day with multiple records being broken. But the craziest thing about it is that this game was in regulation. It did not even go to overtime to finish with a score that high. You know, even All-Star Games have a hard time reaching that number. Now, apart from team records, as you mentioned, Carlo, several individual player records were also set in this historical game. In Everest reinforcement, Michael Hackett, who eventually won best import, grabbed 45 rebounds oh. in that match. That still stands as the most boards anyone has collected in a PBA game. That's your dad's entire career. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Hackett also <laughs> scored 103 points in that game and it was the record at that time before Swift's Tony Harris had 105, ironically against Hinebra on October 10, 1992. I'm so sorry, Dad. 45 rebounds. I think at some point there would be someone who could grab more in a game. That's Absolutely. just me. Mm -hmm. Hackett was an unbelievable talent who dominated the game and he really showed that you know, against any defender, he was near to being unstoppable. In that game, he set the record for most points scored by a single player in a quarter, dropping 33 points in the third period. That record lasted for a while. However, exactly seven years later, on November 21, 1992, Alan Kaidik broke it by scoring 37 points Woo! in a quarter while playing for Presto Tivoli. Boy, th those guys had flamethrowers and uh, in, you know what? Not far away, I think, from breaking that record again, but you know, you never know. The Hinebra Great Taste Duel in 1985 continues to be the highest scoring game ever in PBA history. How sturdy is that record? Well, not even PBA All-Star Games have been able to get to 365 total points. The highest scoring All-Star Game happened in 2019 when the North defeated the South 185 to 170. That's a total of 355 points. The closest that any game has gotten to that historical matchup between Ginebra and Great Taste. Looks like that record will sit in place for quite some time. Surely 365 is something that PBA teams will struggle to get. But you know what, Paolo? Records are made to be broken. Maybe we'll have a game that has four or five overtimes absolutely. that will finally get us there. Yep.